All right. So with all of the recent Doctor Who hype celebrating the 50th anniversary, um, Matt Smith leaving uh, the show and make way for Peter Capaldi, been a lot going on and obviously a lot of hype around that. And I got all kind of wrapped up in the, the fever of it. Found out my nephews are now watching Doctor Who. So I figured it would be fun to have a sonic screwdriver in the house. So this was my first one. Very nice. So let's first, before we even get into that, let's just, you know, give it a look. Um, all plastic, sculpted details, very nice. Uh, particularly impressed with the way the uh, the middle here is supposed to be made of leather, and they did a nice job capturing the seams. And if you didn't touch it, you would think that was leather. Uh, the copper looks like copper. The silver metal looks like metal. But, yeah, as, as shiny and as metallic as that looks, that is all plastic. It's fairly light. Um Activation switch is right here. Now, you on the show, especially towards the latter time, you saw this happening a lot. You know, he's opening it up. But you would also see him activate this button. Problem is, nothing happens. You see, what they've done is they have put the trigger there. So when you snap that out... It's hitting the button underneath the cowling. When you release that, you then expected to come here to the backside, flip that open, and do it like that. Now, to be fair, you did see Matt Smith using it like this, but I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure a Doctor Who fan is going to come along and correct me. But I believe they either made changes or this was just a real shortcut on the part of the toy makers, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's the latter. Um, my nephew did point out, though, that you can activate it just like that. Try to stay on camera. And he has no problem doing that. I've seen people get crazy trying to tear in their sonic screwdrivers apart and trying to make that happen. Don't know why they would cheap out on that. That's a design flaw. Uh, like I said, maybe in the early years this was how it was designed, but towards the second half of Matt Smith's run, he was very clearly extending that and hitting the button here in order to activate it. But technically, more often than not, you see him do this, and then, ooh, nope, you're not a Dalek. Okay. Uh, nephews have been having a lot of fun with this. It is, you know, despite my complaints about the, the button triggering, um, it's still a lot of fun to just sit there and do that. Come on. If you're a Doctor Who fan, you want to do that. Really like it. Again, uh, 23 25 bucks, depending on where you grab it. Um, a lot of fun. Nephews get a real kick out of it. And, well, hey, you know, doesn't every wannabe time traveler need a sonic screwdriver? Yeah, I think so. So, um, looks good. Like I said, criticism about the button trigger, but it's not like you have a lot of options for a sonic screwdriver. So if you've been considering it, you should go ahead and get yourself one. Uh, highly recommended.